In this video, we will explain the simple and trouble-free process of operating and troubleshooting the LCI Third Generation Ground Control Automatic Electric Leveling System. In this video, we'll discuss operations, understanding the control panel, errors, and the popular auto hitch recognition feature. Let's get started. Jake Wild will demonstrate this process in today's technical tip. Hi, I'm Jake Wild from Lippert Components. I'd like to introduce you to our newest leveling system, Ground Control Generation 3. This is a Hall Effect leveling system that is counting revolutions just like our Swintech slide. It's a smoother, quieter, and more precise leveling operation. So now let's show you an operating tip. First, we need to locate our touch panel. In the instance of this coach, it happens to be on the inside here. What that touch pad has on it is an on, a front, a left, a right, a rear, a retract button, and it has scrolling through there where you can go through and find your angle, you can find your battery voltage, you can go to a retract mode. Basically, this touch panel can tell you a lot about that system and how this system's working. What we're gonna do in order to unhook from our truck is we're gonna come in, we're gonna turn that on, and we're gonna hit front. We're gonna push the front button and we're gonna lift the front end up so we can pull the truck away. Once we get it to the desired location, which is above level, then we pull that truck away and we push auto level. What's gonna happen then is we're gonna go run through our leveling sequence. The front's gonna level, then the back jacks are gonna come down, and then we're gonna find that level. And with this new system, it's actually gonna count and tell us where we're at. It's only going to move it to where it needs to be. If it needs, with the Hall effect sensing here, what we're going to do is we're going to move it an inch up on the back left corner or half inch down to affect that, effectively level that coach. It's going to be smoother and quieter than our standard electric system. Another thing that this is going to have when you're done camping, when you go to get ready to pick up your coach and hook back up, you can hit the hitch recognition. The only way that this works is if you started your auto level sequence above level. If you didn't, this error will, this, this feature will be disabled. It'll come on your touchpad and say that exact feature disabled. So then you'd have to manually run those up to hook up your truck. So let's get a close up of this, see how it functions when it's going through the auto level features. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn that on, okay? We found our touch bed, we turn it on. It's gonna say jacks down. Push this front. We're gonna raise the front of that coach, okay? Now we're raised up to where the truck is able to pull away. Our next step is to push auto level button. What it's gonna do is it's gonna check for auto level. It's gonna adjust that. Front come up. Now we're going to run the left side, left side come up, now our right side is going to come up, we're letting it back down there to find that level condition. Okay, so we found our close to level condition, now it's going to run both rear jacks down. As you can see that orange light on the bottom's rear and what that's going to do is it's going to show that we're running those rear jacks. Each time it's showing that orange light is what function is functioning right now. Picked up the rear, it's found a close to level condition. Now it's gonna run your one side, now it's gonna check the other side. It says it looks good there, now it's gonna check the front. Went left to right to make sure that we're set. Check in the back. Auto level success. Okay, just to recap what happened here is we found our touch panel, we turned it on, we pushed front and we unhooked from our truck. We pushed auto level, the front adjusted, went to the back, then the back adjusted. We did a four point check on each jack and auto level success. Now, let's go and we'll show you the features that are in this touch panel. Okay, so showing on here is we got jacks down. So we can scroll through this screen here 
it's going to show our battery voltage. Battery voltage is at 13.8, which is a great battery voltage. And our next one is, is rear, left, and right. It's showing the extension of those jacks. The left rear is 9.1 and the right rear is 9.0. We're in a pretty level situation, so that's why we're so close. If our campsite was off a little bit, it would be 7 inches on the left and 9 inches on the right. That's fine. It's just telling you where the jacks and how far they're extended. Our next screen is going to show us our front jacks, how far them front jacks are stroked. So you got two inches on the right on the left front and 1.5 on the right. Remember, that's what this system does. It tells you how far you're traveling the level. So that's what those things are for. The next screen is showing us our angle. Our tilt is 0, 0.0. And our angle is 0, 0.0. It's telling us that we're in a level condition. If we weren't in a level condition, it would show us off one or two degrees. Next one is auto retract rear jacks. This is a function that we use when we want to hook up our truck and we'll get to that in a moment. Our next one here is retract all jacks. This is something that we'd use once we were hooked up to the truck. That we'll go through here shortly as well. Next one is a manual mode. We can push enter, run each jack individually if we wanted to manually level the coach ourselves. Drop the front jacks, that's a function that's in here. So when we back up to the campsite, we can scroll in, hit enter, that'll drop those front jacks down so we don't have to hold that button to get those jacks to the lower level. Okay, we're gonna scroll back up here to, we're gonna retract the rear jacks. We're gonna hit enter. Those rear jacks are gonna come up. Retract those rear jacks and then we can go into our hitch recognition next. We're retracting the rear jacks right now. We can kind of get the rest of our little camping stuff put away here. Once those are retracted and back up, we'll go back through. They're back up. What we're going to do is we're going to hit left and right. And what that'll do is bring you back up to where we unhook from the truck. So we'll push the left and right. Now it's going to extend those front landing legs up to where we hooked. It'll stop at that level and back the truck up in there and pick up the front jacks and we're on our way. If it says feature disabled, that means that we started our leveling procedure below level. So that feature is not going to work. So we'd have to manually run that up to hitch back up to our truck. Here is the motor itself that's on each one of these jacks. On the top, there's a 3 8 drive that you can manually override. You take a 3 8 socket extension and you stick it in there and you can manually crank that jack up and down. Okay? Now if this is in a location like the back jacks where it's up against that floor and you can't get to the top, we put one on the bottom. 5 16 It's going to fit right in there. You can crank it the same exact way. Okay? That's, that's a way to get your jacks manually up and down. Okay, why we have this motor in our hand, we're going to explain this. We have two plugs coming out of this motor. One is a power and a ground. The other one is a hall sensing. It's that one that's doing the counting for us, telling us where this jack's at. Those three wires right there, plug right in, talk to our control and say, okay, this is how many revolutions we went through and the operation that it's going to follow. If you have any questions, again, please lci1.com or call our customer service. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to introduce an error. I unplugged the wire just so we can kind of show what's going to happen here. So we're going to scroll into a manual mode, and this is just for showing us how we can do this. Okay, we're going to hit the rear jacks. Okay, what we did is we ran and we introduced an error. As the touchpad saying, error, right rear jack. It's telling us the right rear jack, so manually retract all jacks or hold retract to auto retract. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold retract. And what that's going to do in turn do, it's going to retract all jacks as the touchpad saying. Okay? We have an issue with the right rear jack and what we're going to do is manually override that back up electronically. If this doesn't work, we're going to have to get those wrenches out and crank that back up again. So. For basic troubleshooting, I would check your wiring. Make sure that your wires are plugged in 
and good connections at your control and at the jack. This will generally take care of your issue. If not, we'd have to go see our service technician at a dealership.